Hello whiskey lovers. Okay, just a quick intro before we actually start this video um, to bring you guys up to date as to what's happening. Um, I've been a couple of weeks ahead with the videos because I've just been doing my quick review um, as I taste them and then just still uploading the one a week. Um, well, there's been a rather, as you can see, an explosion of whiskey here, um, mostly due to um, Mel getting her tax return, but as well um, Father's Day here in Australia, so yeah, so I'm about two months ahead on videos, um, I was hoping this week I would have got my delivery from this month's Whiskey Club, however the deliveries are now delayed in Australia thanks to COVID, thanks Gladys, gold standard, um, so we'll probably be doing that next week, and this is why I'm making these intros, because the next three whiskies we're going to try were all Starwoods, different flavours. There was the Nova, uh, the Solaris, and the um, Fortis. Um, so we're going. I'm going. This one will be uh, one of the Star Starwoods, and then probably next week will be the Whiskey Club. That this month's Whiskey Club whiskey, because my priority is get them out pretty much as I can, so I can share that with the club, and then we'll continue on with the other two Starwoods, and then we'll be starting the um, Father Day Bonanza tastings. Okay, so enjoy the video. Hello, whiskey lovers. Well, it's turning out September has been a pretty big month for me here. Um, with Father's Day, I have um, acquired quite a few whiskies, so I've been doing a series of videos very much ahead of time. So, time you watch this, it may or may not still be September. Um, now, technically, what I'm about to try was not a Father's Day present, according to Mel. This is stuff she bought for us with her tax money. Um, so, it is some um, Starwoods. Three of them, in fact. Uh, we have the Solera, which is done in a para wine barrels. We have the Nova, which is matured in red wine barrels. And we have the Fortis, um, matured in American oak red wine barrels. Uh, these are all single vaults. Single malt, and they're from Starwood in Victoria. Now, we I think when I was trying the Starwood that was exclusive to the Whiskey Club, I had mentioned because it's a very young distillery, there is not a very rich history gone to, which I actually went through when I did the twofold. Um, and I think I padded out the video last time we we're talking about the history of Australian whiskies. Um, and this time, well, pretty much got nothing. Um, so. We're going to try the Apera for this video, and then over the next couple of days, I will do other videos, and then they'll be uploaded the following weeks. Um, so, yep, exciting stuff. Um, so, now, the Apera, for those who don't know, is basically Australian sherry. We're no longer allowed to use the term sherry, it now belongs to fortified, sweet fortified wines from Spain, much in the way Champagne um, and various Italian wine regions and stuff, and that's perfectly fine. Um, now, I have to admit, I am not a fan of Apera or Sherry, it's a little sweet for my taste, um, Mel loves it, um, I think the best description I ever heard was on Keeping Up Appearances when Onslow refers to it as Fairy Piss. And yeah, that's pretty much what I think it tastes like. However, uh, much like port, um, sherry influences on the whiskey. You should imbue it with uh, a nice ruby colour. Um, it should imbue it with uh, berry ta uh, taste of berries, um, some of the tannin, give it a little bit of heaviness. And because it's being um, a, a para or sherry, it should be quite sweet. So, let's... Go. Ooh. 
lovely pop. So, as we can see, um, a very light ruby change to this whiskey. More, still more golden, but there is definitely the, the red tint to it. A little bit of swirl. And very strong vanilla notes, almost pretty much immediately on this. Pretty much that's all I'm smelling at the moment is a vanilla. No, no, there's a hint of berry there. So yeah, so a hint of berry, um, very strong vanilla notes for the nose. And despite the strong vanilla and hints on the nose, the vanilla taste is much more subtle on the tongue, allowing for a weird combination of citrus and berry taste. Almost like a lemon curd with a strawberry cream or strawberry jelly. And a slight hint of the oak, which is probably the tannin from the wine, uh, from the um, Pira casks. Um, so overall, yeah, a rather pleasant drop. Um, it's sweet, uh, relatively smooth, but like I said, a nice combination of um, citrus and berry with a vanilla to do sort of tie it all together. So that's the harm starwood. Solar, quite lovely. So until next time, Sante.